Best film is if you're not touching your camera. As you write your movie in your head, do I want to show the people engaged in this? Do I want to show the hands on the bird? Do I want to show the band? Do I want to show the colors really close up on the color blink band? Do I want to show mostly birds? Do I want to show putting in the net? How do I tell this story? Like Fan of Peplos, the males are really black. The females are gray. You can tell them apart. A lot of species, like sparrows for example, the males look just like the females. You can't tell which one's which. We're allowed to use certain color combinations that no other researcher will use. So let's say somebody sees one of your guys' birds up in the mountains in the summer. If they can see that it's you know red, white on the left leg, they're gonna know that not only is it a color benefit in Pepla, but it's one of Len's birds and not one from say Arizona or somewhere else. <laughs> so the USGS, the United States Geologic Survey, has a bird banding lab in Maryland. And they issue the bands. And each band has a different number. It's like a social security number. Everyone's got their own. So whatever band I put on this bird is going to have like a nine digit number. And no other bird has that number. So that's one of the reasons why we do this, to sort of learn about where birds migrate, where they go. Exceptional, that's an amazing thing because they're territorial. And when you have a bird territory, you'll have a male and a female, and they defend it against anyone else that intrudes. But this particular species, before they start nesting, they one of their courtship behaviors is they'll sort of assemble in big groups. And the males might fight, or they might just sort of sing at each other, but that's sort of like, they decide who's going to mate with who. It's sort of like a bar, kind of, I guess, or a party. And Len has decoys by the net, and so usually we use speakers to call the birds in. But in this case, Len's decoys were so good that one of the birds thought the decoy was real. And it went to attack it, and it got caught in the net. And you should at least make sure there's a date in times, whenever you come back in the field from working, try to quickly go through your notebook. So put mental, when you're out in the field, it's hot, you don't always get every detail, but try to look at your notes and see. Will I remember this in a month? Do I know what I'm even talking about? I think Office Depot or something. They're pretty cheap speakers, but they do this good. And sometimes it's hard to tell, to hear, whether it's the birds or the speakers. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, that's a decoy. What can I say? What are you doing? You look like you're making a mess. What are you doing? So the net's over, it's clean. She's, she's okay, don't worry about this, she's fine. Okay, so I want to explain that Santa Peppers emit 
all different bird calls when they get caught. So the sound that you just are hearing right now is that bird imitating a red mate, red breasted sap sucker. So, ooh. so the call that you heard sounded like a really loud screaming, kind of horrible. The bird's not hurt or anything. When you catch a fan of Pepla, like Len was saying, they try, they can mimic. Like around here, there's mockingbirds and thrashers. Those are birds that sing and they copy other birds' songs. But another thing that mimics can do is like when you hold a fan of Pepla, it's, it's scared. And so it's gonna, it tries to mimic the scariest things it knows. So she was doing a red tailed hawk. Um, another kind of hawk called the Cooper's Hawk. Um, there's a little bird around here that, bird, that Len might have taught you about called the Verde. And when a verdant sees a cooper's hawk, remember cooper's hawks eat birds, then a verdant will do an alarm call, lets other verdants know that there's a cooper's hawk around. And they only do that call when there's a hawk around. And if I was copying the verdant, doing the hawk alarm call. So the what did she sing? Um, she did a ground squirrel twice. Those are fun. And she did a bird in the Xipper Skull. Um, she did a red tailed hawk. We're out first. So that's why on this bird, these wings up here look a little bit, a little bit more, more worn than the ones on the inside. And these, these, these colors, red and white, they're really easy to see. It's one of the easiest combinations to see, so you guys can practice on this one. Okay. 24.6 is the weight. Come on, that's big. Twenty point nine. Twenty six point six. Yeah, twenty six point seven. Dang. Age is after second year, so five. So it goes five F V. It's gonna be just like the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, M B R. Okay, yeah. So that's that's brood patch. So brood patch. He's developing a pretty good brood patch, the best one I've seen. Can you show it again? Yeah. Sorry? Right, got it. It's up here in the curriculum. Zero. No fat. B. So I used. Do you want to see the bands again, Chris? Sure. Six. So quite a bit bigger. He's the biggest one. He's the biggest one we've got so far. Orange and mauve. Mauve is sort of, it looks like purple, but it's light purple. If you use dark purple, then it would look just like black, and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So that's why they make it light purple. And each bird has its own particular co color combination that no other bird will have. Okay, so we're gonna put orange orange on one of them and that's gonna be the only fan of Pepla that has orange orange. Yes. Remember they've got that crest, the red eyes, and white feathers on the inside. That's how you can tell us the fan of Pepla. When you bend and you have to go really slow. Make sure the bird's okay. This is the guy. We tried to catch this guy for so many days. Now he's in my hand. It's amazing how that works. He's a feisty dude. He's, he's, of all the Theta Peplas we've been trying to catch, 
I think that he's like the king. Defeated <laughs> by Delilah. The Maybe first call- one was Jezebel. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> All right. And find the lighting that you want. Black and silver on the bird's left leg. It goes from body to toe. So black on the top, yellow on the bottom. in your palm. Don't use your fingers at all. Just hold it like that. Then when you let it go, you're going to put it like this so the bird's sitting on this hand. Exactly. And then you sort of slowly open it up. Yep. So just open your hand. All right. Good cool. job. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Line those hummingbirds on rescue missions. Yeah. I could see her on band. You can. Are they pink? Yeah, pink and orange. Yeah. After second year, male. And that means a, a bird that was born last year, this is its second year. So after second year means it was born before last year. Chris, can you pull his feather a little bit? The wing or the yeah, tail? Yeah, the wing. Sure. Make the mistake. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Number is uh, I haven't been it yet. Whoa! Yeah, Definitely time for lunch. Okay, so the band number is two two five one uh, one three one zero seven. This, can you see these bands? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So red, white. We don't always know what we're gonna learn. <laughs> 